Listen to Dad heads, baby. I've never felt so alive in my life. My name Cole and Black when you see me. Oh my this studio looking at a guy out here. Yeah. How are my name? Go ahead, baby, let's go. I spent more money on spilling. You're gonna have to fucking kill me! Do not say anything to anyone at any time or you will be executed. Uh, hey. Alright, Ren, don't say anything. Shh, don't tell don't tell them we started. Don't tell anybody we started, okay? And five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a I can't do it. Ladies and gentlemen. We'll do it live. Duh heads. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can I'll write it and we'll do it live! And thing sucks! That's right, it sucks. And baby, today we're going to be talking about all the diggers and all the tunnels that they <laughs> dug. <laughs> yeah, all right, and, diggers. And every single week, baby, you know I got a song coming for you now. Now you know. And this week, everybody says War Mode does it best. How about War Mode sucks Dude, my get game? Get out of here. Here this we is go. Cali, baby. You ready? Three, two, one. Ugh. Long ago, in the land of Israel, the Jewish people lived happily <laughs> with their neighbors. No. I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> <laughs> we do the best! Get the fuck out of here, baby! No, don't just be sorry. US Army. One fucking second. Served 20 what years. What the fuck are you duty. doing? Seven. Are you professional or not? And retired. Do I fucking walk around and rip that? No, shut the fuck up, Bruce. Do I walk around? No. too long. No! Don't shut me up. Am I gonna walk around and can't do it? No, I have put up with, put up with that lot of fuck you walking under Brooklyn. Uh, da, 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 there like might be a guy with a funny hat at your brother's wedding. Too afraid to speak out. And what we might be in charge of your financial situation. But guess what? Any fucking idea about it. Hey, hey, it's not your fucking idea. Hey, 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 was that a Weezer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I hit him with the Weezy, baby. I hit him with the Weezy. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Oh, <laughs> that was probably the most. And that's for the. That's for that's for all those diggers under there. <laughs> What's after boomers? Gen X. Gen X. That's for all the Gen X out there. That's though. for all the Gen X. Obsessed with a Metallica. Metallica, yeah, bro. You know how it is, but. I have this little. I have a. I have a blanket on my legs like I'm FDR. You look like a little abuelita. I'm an there. abuelita. A little uh, blanco abuelita. Abuelita de blanco. But, but baby, we're back. So. Duhheads is back. We got another fire episode for everybody. Oh hey everybody. Hey everybody. How are you guys all doing? How's everybody doing? Come How are sit you doing? on down next to us. We're your be new best friends. We're your new. Shh, don't say that, dude. Wolf don't tell them I like them. Don't tell them that, my friend. Well, I, I kind of already like. We that. also got Orwell. We have our <laughs> we have our new pr our producer here, Orwell. He's sitting. There. I don't know if you can see the the green frog we have There's on the frog. green screen. He the can sit. He can sit. He can sit. So, if you guys didn't know, they're digging tunnels under Brooklyn. <laughs> under what? Under Brooklyn. They're digging Brooklyn? tunnels under Brooklyn, and you know what I think they do down there? I think those are the goon caves. Well, I've always heard about like underground, like uh, you know, like underground Seattle and stuff like that. Yeah. Like what are what's up with all these cities that have like the Fran like the France catacombs? All these cities that are kind of like buried. It seems. Like. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. What I think is going on with the. Uh, but I need an answer. The, Genuinely curious. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what does it mean? It means it's, it feels it, like people used to live underground almost. You know? I don't know. There is the uh, story of the ant people. The Hopi Indians believe that the ants, the ant people, uh, were the ones that saved the world. I didn't think you were going with Hopi Indians and ants. With well, hey, maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes I do. I mean, cool, dude. That that sounds neat. Yeah, I hate I hate me some ants. Yeah, you know the thing is, is that at this point, because this episode comes out in two weeks, the the tunnel thing is probably over. What do you think has happened in the next two weeks? That's going to be big news. You know what I do know? I know January twentieth is when Pluto is perfectly in conjunction in Aquarius, and there's supposed to be a big happening on the twentieth of uh, January. When I've heard things about like this whole year kind of going on and yeah, since the start of it, like what are we 12 days into January? Yeah. It seems like shit's kind of hitting the fan already. The year of the wood dragon. Cat Williams came out and he was saying some fucking fire, bro. Cat Williams had a bunch to say. Dude, Cat Williams like put every black comedian on blast. 
Except yeah, for dude, Bernie that Mac, shit, who's dead. Who's super dead. Well, he was talking about how they killed Bernie Mac, too. Dude, 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. That's right. But My dude, only hang up with him is he sounds a lot like Orlando Brown. Yeah, he was like which is funny. No, so, uh, oh, fuck, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Sorry, I was going to say something. You got to start bringing, you got to bring something to the table. I'm dude. so sorry, dude. Did you see I changed my sock, Mike? Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Changed colors on you. Yeah, I know. You're freaking, we don't wear red in this, on this stream, dude. We're, cri I'm a crip. You don't like red? You know that I'm a crip. I got a blue jersey on, man. Come you on. You know that I'm a crip, dude, and that's fucking not okay. I'm just repping the United States. I was red, actually jumped, I was actually jumped in, dude. I was actually jumped in. I was initiated into the gang. The gang? I'm a West Side IE gangsta crip, bro. You know this. West Side IE? No, West Side IE Gangsta Crip, and don't say that. If you say it, you're gonna get fucking fucked up, dude. So, I'm anyways, get, I'm gonna get fucked up, bro. You're gonna get, you're gonna get fucking. Lit. I mean, a lot of people oh, do dude, get shot meant, on like our freeways in LA. It's pretty wild. I meant to tell you. I meant to tell you. So, uh, dog food's a psyop. You know how dog food is like super bad for your dogs. Depending on the food you get, like yeah. the kibble's bad for your dogs, pretty much. Or like pedigree and shit. Like yeah, pretty much yeah, all that. that, that dude, can't be I good. started, I started cooking my dog. You cooked your dog? I start ranch. Stop being a faggot. <laughs> I cooked my dog uh, its own food with, uh, I got uh, ground turkey and then I pureed zucchini and carrots. And the thing is, dude, those fucking logs, solid, solid logs, dude. Because my dog can't. eat better than you, dude. Yeah, I know. Literally. Literally eats so healthy. You care. It's funny. Like you get a dog and you care about its nutrition more than you. That kinda, yeah. That's kind of. I know, dude. Today, I respect that a lot. Today, I'm getting I, a dog soon, so I respect. Today, the fuck I that ate I fucking watermelon tahini, fucking peach rings, and some everything else, bro. That doesn't sound healthy. Yeah, I know. That's what we're. What's kind of what we're and saying? And you fed your dog like boiled turkey with like squash. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know, you know who, you know what, uh, you know what I've been seeing lately. You know Ben Avery. Ben Avery is the guy from the Lemon. The Party? The guy from Lemon Party. Yeah, he used to be on Tim. Dude, Dillon. okay, he started doing this thing where he he like will tweet under like Elon's tweets like he'll tweet like he's like a like a dem like know? super lib right he yeah. does that I've seen I kind of seen no, that no but it's like it's it's annoying because he'll do it ironically but when you do something ironically people take it seriously like that it's like not funny like it's like really not funny I saw him doing it and I literally changed like how I use Twitter now because I'm like oh when you do that when you do something ironically ironic, it just becomes, it just like is a double negative and it becomes unironic and it's then not funny. Do you think he's just doing that for like clickbait? Though? No, he's just doing it to be, he's just doing it because he thinks it's funny, but it's like, it's not funny. But if he gets clicks, that's all he cares about. That's all. Yeah, all but it's just not people funny. People care about his clicks, like whether it's negative or positive. Yeah, but it's like, it's gay. I just want everyone to know I think that that's gay. I think it's gay too. I think that that's gay. And it's just, it's, what are you, I feel like you, like everything I say, you're like, yep. And then you just you're no, not, I actually you're not really do. Anything. No, I just do agree with you. I don't know what else. I don't really know Ben Avery and his Twitter, but I agree with like people that it, it sounds like. Do you, do it sounds you, like he's grifting to me. And no, I, but I don't respect I'm, that. It's not really grifting. It's just like it's just not funny. Do you know what I mean? No, he's not being funny at all. Yeah, he's it's just like I'm just clickbait. like I'm 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 at, I guess I'm asking you. Do you think too? If you're if you're ironically being ironic, do you think it becomes no, unironic? No, you're being fucking gay and you're just trying to get clicks. That is, there's nothing. Rain, you, I, listen to me one more time. If you're being un, I'm agreeing with you. If you're being ironic, okay, because you said okay. Yes, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> if you're doing that <laughs> only to stab get, you, if you're only if you're doing the that gun, to get clicks and shit, knife you're gun. gay. Like yeah, that's being gay. funny is just being funny, whether you get like thirty six likes on it or Let's 1, play a game. Likes. Let's play a game. Let's go. Let's play a game. Game I, time. I want you to bum, 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 All right, nah, 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 nah. stop doing that. I want you to okay. Give me an impression to do, and I'm gonna try and do it. Let's do this game. Let's let's try and do an episode here. Let's try and do an episode like it's the beginning of our show when we first started. I'm supposed to give you an impression. Let's play the game. Let's play. Let's try to do our podcast like it's episode three, like back when we were doing it. Okay, like that. act like you're blacked out, and I'm gonna act like I'm blacked out. No, like w like. Okay, I'm Steph. I'm Indian Steph Curry. Remember that bit? Oh man! When I was like, "Oh, I'm Hello. I'm Steph Curry, please, baby. Oh yeah, shoot the basketball, baby, please, baby, please, baby, please." Who's that really good a uh, player on the Bucks? Okay. We're not rain. No, I'm I'm getting there. Follow me. Follow it, me. Follow me. Isaac. Follow, follow me. I don't know how to say his name. Akuku Tempo. I don't know his name. Akuku Tempo. Akata Pumpebu. He. Akata Pumpebu. Okay. What if our league was just in Africa and everybody kind of spoke like that? Would he be the best still? No. Just, we're, you're not doing the God game. Damn it, dude. I you're hate not, you sometimes. You're not doing the game. So, what's the game? 
I'm trying to explain the All game. Right. I'm trying to explain the game. Okay, so the game, <laughs> do we have to pretend like it's uh, early in the show, like an early season? It's hard to do to pretend. Why? Like the- Living in America. <laughs> so like, Be like you know what I hate the most is the Indian people. <laughs> yeah. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Like, what did we used to do? Do you want me to play some of the old episode? We would be what did we blacked just- out, like. Yeah, like, uh, like, what did we used to do? We, I have to go to the Patreon to find out. Patreon.com. Yeah, dude. Like the, we, had, <laughs> we had to put those behind a paywall. Those so, were fucking gnarly. So wait, or, hang on. I, but like, I don't remember what, like, I, I'm trying to do like an impression or like. You're trying to do an impression of your previous self? Yeah. Like, what did we do? Like, I'm trying to for, like remember what we did. We were being retarded while blacked out. Oh, that's when we were being. That's when we were being. We're making fun of Tony, Tony Hitchcliff. That's when we were being. Uh, Tony I'm the Joker. I look I'm my own jo- ass. I'm the Joker of comedy. That's what we used to do. It's funny to see that guy like blow up only because of Joe Rogan being in Austin with him. His like Kill Tony podcast is like exploding at the same time as Joe Rogan. Well, Kill Tony, yeah, we've already talked about. This. Uh, I don't it's know. It's always explode. It's always been like linear to Joe Rogan. Is my yeah. Opinion. I don't know. Yeah, Tony Hinchcliffe. Why is he so red? Because he's on. Like, why is he? I don't know. We don't want to talk about Tony Hinchcliffe. Um, <laughs> he just brought up her old podcast. <laughs> yeah, do an impression of her old podcast. I don't know. Well, Tony Hinchcliffe is gay. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, we used to just be like, yeah, the Joker. Uh, dude, okay, <laughs> this is this is funny. Uh, me and Tanner were trying to figure out like, so Tanner knows how to do magic, right? Tanner's like really good at magic, like for real. Yeah, like, like actually, like good at magic. He paid for the classes to learn. The I don't secrets. know. If he, I don't. I think he just you, learned how to do tricks. I feel like you have to do that. I don't know. Yeah, okay. maybe. So Jeez. he's really good at it, right? And so oh I was like talking. To he must shit. get so much pussy, dude. <laughs> no, he does. It was just tight. Yeah, I bet he does. No. He- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Love uh, you, Tim. no. So we were like, we were doing a, uh, we were thinking of like a, doing a magic, like promotional magic thing for hyper sigil and, um, like doing man on the street stuff. And I was like, what if you were doing like, you were like, I'm mind freak, but I'm Joker mind freak. And you're like the Joker doing a mind freak thing. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I name freak, like doing that, right? And then he he got mad, and he's like, "Dude, do you realize the Dark Knight came out in 2007? That movie's almost 20 years old. I'm not gonna dress up like the Joker." And like, it it made it so much funnier to me that like the fact that people are still like, "I'm the Joker." <laughs> well, I think that's why people started and, doing the Walking Phoenix one. And the Joker is more edgier. He's like, "I'm gonna kill people." It's now. just funny. Like, I don't know. It's just like I was like, "Yeah, I would never make you actually dress up like the Joker," but but I kind of would. But it makes so. Guess what? This project I'm gonna do is I'm gonna in in like ten years, right? I'm gonna move to a city for three months. Like a small town. Listen. Okay, I'm listening. In like nor in like Connecticut or something, right? I'm gonna move to a small city and I'm gonna start an open mic, and I'm gonna dress like the Joker, and they're gonna be like, "Yeah, that the Joker runs this open mic." And I'm just gonna sit in the corner and I'm just gonna watch everybody and be like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm the Joker." You're just gonna get hounded by that one dude that was at Skank Fest that no. dressed up as the Joker, no. and he's gonna come and find you, and he's like, "I did it first. No, that's I did it first. Yeah, and I'm gonna kill you. And he's gonna ki- he's gonna shoot you, just like the no, actual you, Joker. No, that that's a, no one can. I'm the Joker. I just I love the Joker, but so I have a question. So there's this guy, uh, and he was like, you know how I do that bit where I'm like, everyone copies me and that's like a bit. Yeah. I don't know if it's uh, still a bit. <laughs> no. Yeah. I know it's not, but, but, um, no, <laughs> but this, this, me. this, this guy was like, yeah, you saying everyone copies you is my bit. What? So he, says, he, says that, he says that I'm copying his bit of everyone copying me is a bit. You inceptioned a bit. Yeah. And, and <laughs> rain. Do you think, do you know how fucking gay that is to be like, oh, the copying bit, the bit that you came up with in one second is my bit, actually? Kind of respect it. You respect it? It's like another level of what you're doing. (laughs) No, it's fucking so gay. (laughs) No, here's the thing. He's not doing it to be funny. He's doing it to be serious. Dude, if he was doing it to be funny, he'd be killing it. No, he's being like serious. He's like, actually, like, you're actually copying me. What a loser, then. Yeah, that's like so gay. If he was doing it to be funny, he'd be slaying you right now. Guess how long he's been doing his podcast. Oh, shit. Is it one of those ones I've already heard of, maybe? No, probably not. You've okay. probably never heard of it. I bet you you've never heard of it. I'm going to just go ahead and guess three years. Five. Seven. Nine. I'm just going to go by two. Twelve. 
What? He's been podcasting since, what? I think, <laughs> actually since 2009, and he still has, like, no fucking bands. Dude, that's when you know you're bad at what you're doing. You've been doing something since 2009 yeah, and cool? remaining an amp. Like, imagine a porn star that's just been, like, fucking everybody she can find for money for, what what was it, 12, 20 years? 12 years, 12 at years. least. At least 12 years. And then she gets to the 13-year mark. She's like, this is the day I make my money. No, imagine this. That's imagine this. so sad. Imagine this. Going to someone on the internet and being like, you copied me. You copied my show that I've been doing for 13 years. And then I go like this. I've never even heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it sounds like I've a level of what you're doing, but just in a I've terrible way. I've never even heard of you. No, but it's, no, that's the thing though. It's not what I'm doing at all because it's serious. Damn, what a fucking loser. Yeah, that rocks. Is huh? that one of those guys that probably still lives with his mom? I don't know. I don't care. Probably. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, but. It does matter. It doesn't matter. You can, dude. dude you Italians live with their mom. Italians live with their mom for a long time. Yeah, you're Italian. The Italians? Dude, you're doing a 23 and Me because you just found out your, you just found out your uh, grandma's a gay blind painter. Grandpa, <laughs> yeah. Image yeah. yourself after a gay painter. <laughs> <laughs> she was blind for sure, dude. Do you know what that? Do you know what that's from? The I can't believe thing? that. Like, this is the first time I told you my grandmother was a blind. Yeah, painter. cause yeah, I don't, I don't know why you fucking have never you're done so that. You're so hung up on that too. I love it. You are a failure in here, and everything about this is a failure. That's what I, that's what they say when they find her paintings. They just say that she's a failure. I got to do like a on stream like IQ test. You want to do one right now? No, I'll do one when you're when we got to do a live streaming, baby. You want a live stream one? Do you want a live stream one later? We should live stream later. Yeah, I'll I'll play bass and do an IQ test at the same time. Okay, cool. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be fun. Is rain uh, is raid retarded stream? <laughs> Probably, dude, retarded they, rain stream. The fucked up thing is like, there's so many things I forgot since high school. Like, like the oh, it doesn't have anything to do with that. Aquatic equa equation and shit like aquatic that. Aquatic like, equations. Is it aquatic? Aquatic equations, uh, right? Yes. What's that equation? E equals. Hang on, hang on. M over. Ladies and gentlemen, the aquatic equation. <laughs> equation. <laughs> what is an aquatic equation? You're so fucking fucked on this test. They're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> You mean quadratic? The, quadratic. There you go, baby. Quadratic. Come on, give me a break. Dude, I've been out of high school for like shit. How old am I going to be? You've been year? out of high school for fucking uh, 2008. 14 years. Dude. No, 2008 seems like more than 14. Two, 16 is going to be next year. 16 years no. left. Yeah. No. What? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Do you remember when you're like, I'm better than you at math, and now you're like, the aquatic equation. <laughs> I just couldn't remember the name. It's been so long since school. The godfather of soul, Mr. Dynamite. If you want to ask me about, like, torts and shit, I'll give you those answers. Uh, like, math? Hell yeah. Math is... Man, I've been doing this aquatic hey, equation. Baby. Hey, baby, math has been learned a long time ago. We don't need to know any more about that. That's so fucking We don't need to know about dude. math no more. So this one is... We got computers and calculators. And calculators. Long ago in the land of Israel. Isn't that so funny? You know what that's from? No. That sounds like very soothing. I kind of like it. It's from Rugrats. Really? Long ago in the land oh, of dude, Israel. Oh, dude, is that the Christmas like special episode? Yeah, Hanukkah. I love that two episodes. The Hanukkah. A, I love that shit. Yeah, because the, the, the pickles are Jewish. Tommy Pickles. Dude, and they make them very Jewish. Yeah, they're like extremely Jewish. They're yeah. like, give them the biggest nose and like deepest eye wrinkles you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nickelodeon, thank you. Well, because Tommy's, Tommy Pickles' his dad was an inventor, Stu. His name was Stu. He's an inventor. Yeah. Hmm. He invented tunnel. He's a tunnel. He's a, he was a digger. But his mom didn't really do anything. I remember she started to do like cooking school later on. In the I don't remember. Show. I used to love. I used to love that show. Baby's Me gotta too. do what a baby's gotta do. Do you remember when they play like football over like the chocolate milk bottle because it was chocolate instead of regular milk? They're like, they made like this whole football thing over it. Uh, I'm, I'm old, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was like a baby. It was when like that season came out. one, dude. I was like a, a literal infant when that came out. Well, season one was the Israel episode where they like made Tommy like the. He's a King he, David. They made him into Noah, I think. No, King David. Who's the one they like threw down like the the scepter and it turned into a that's, snake? That's Moses. I think they made Tommy Moses because he took like the ark and shit. I just watched it. And he sparted he parted the sea. That was Tommy Pickles, baby. Right? Why does he have why does he have the uh, he had a shield staff and shit too? Why does he have a shield? I don't think so. No, I think he had a, a Well wish. there's two. There's Dude, two of them. Tommy right? Pickles was like the OG Gandalf. Oh, you can't Tommy Pickles. He was fucking part in the sea with his staff. You shall that's spread. But in a baby voice. 
You shall spread. That's yeah, what he spread said. your sea, That's baby. That's what he said. That's Let other he... people walk across. That's what he said to the ocean. You shall spread. Spread your lips. That's actually funny, Rain. Spread. That's actually a good one. That's such a... Tommy, like, like the whole point of Rugrats was that they were babies, and then they're like, we're going to make all grown up where they're not babies anymore. They're going to be big kids. Oh, uh, yeah. That's when I fell off. I only like watched, like, stupid. old school uh, Rugrats when they were babies. I remember when they made the Rugrats, like, I think it was called All Grown Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was probably around the same time as, like, Rocket Power. And I was like, Rocket Power or All Grown... Now, yeah, let's get Rocket Power. Give me the wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Give me the X Games cartoon. It was basically X Games cartoon. That was Rocket Power. X Games were so fucking popular, dude. Yeah. That they're like, let's just do a cartoon with fucking retarded kids you know that many, don't have parents. Do you know how many times we've talked about Rocket Power on this show, Rain? I will never a stop talking. I will never stop talking <laughs> yeah, about Rocket will. Power. I I'll love it. Shut the fuck up. No, you will. Gimme. No, you will. Gimme. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. wiggity, wiggity. Dude, right. fucking uh We're we're done for now. Yeah. That show I already told you this show used to make me depressed. That's insane though. That's all I think about now is money. Can you? Are there any other depressing like cartoons you can think of, um, or like now that you look back that are like kind of depressing? They're uh, Hey Arnold, dude. Hey Arnold's like a depressing show. Very depressing. He was Jewish too, I think. Really? I'm football pretty head? sure. Football head was. <laughs> no way. Fo- he didn't have football nose. He had a football hat. He had, <laughs> he had a football, football head, <laughs> not a football nose. <laughs> he, he had a little. <laughs> oh, he did have a tiny little, little yarmulke. Little yarmulke, yarmulke hat. Bro. <laughs> but he was best friends with Gerald. There's no way they're allowed yeah, to do dude, that. Yeah, dude, slave. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, he did his bidding for him. That's what they fucking do. <laughs> There's no way those Ashkenazis are allowed to be friends with like yes, Gerald and Jerome. What are you talking? That's what the whole There's fucking no music industry is, bro. Dude, I saw them throwing stools in the tunnel synagogue. There's no way they like black people. They're aggressive as hell. They don't like them. They use them. That's what I'm saying. That's what they fucking do. So, like, them. the fact that Arnold's best friend was Gerald. Yeah, he used him. He used him the whole show? Yeah, that's what he was using him for. For what? To manipulate Angelica so he could fuck her, dude. Oh, Helga, you mean? Helga, yeah. Oh, yeah. Angelica's yeah. the little baby from I Rugrats. I got shit on lock, dude. Oh, dude, yeah. Angelica's, Angelica's the baby from Rugrats. Rugrats. Hey, Arnold was trying to fuck that baby. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> Angelica's the reason, like, there's so many, like, dudes that like to be pegged. It's because they grew up with like an aggressive five year old when they're yeah. little watching cartoons. Yeah, that's probably what it was, huh? For sure. For sure. Not at all. <laughs> that's probably a lot of it. No, it's probably Degrassi with like a Drake with in a Drake? wheelchair. And that fucks everybody up. Dude, I, th- I fucking don't like Drake. They're like, okay, hold on. How is he Jewish black wheelchair noggin? Nobody liked that TV channel. Nobody liked it. Did you ever like. No, I you never remember getting it. the I never, I never watched it. Okay. I know. So when I, know I was little, it. they I would advertise it. on Nickelodeon for Noggin, like the TV channel. Yeah. And they'd literally advertise as like the smart kids channel. Yeah. That's and they'd have Drake gay. in a that's wheelchair. Fucking gay. Yeah. This is where the smart kids go. Degrassi is gay, dude. No, dude. Even my gay cousin, like Boy Meets World on Disney. You have a gay cousin and a you have a gay cousin and a blind painter grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at you're, you're gay. You're no, right I'm next not to me, baby. Gay, dude. <laughs> you're next to me. Harry Baggins. I'm <laughs> partially Hufflepuff, but I'm also half River Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I didn't up. even know that one was. That worked out fucking perfectly, baby. Shut the fuck up, dude. You Shine think you fuck- <laughs> bright is me. <laughs> <laughs> Shine right, baby. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. That's you and you like your... get me with a joke. That's what you say. That's what you do. <laughs> I thought that, that that's your Catholicism drop because it's mm-hmm. tell me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next Jeez, to dude, the bass drop. The bass so drop so fucking hard in that shit, bro. Dude, get the bass to drop like heavy in your shit. Dude, I tried to fucking figure out how to change the color on this bitch, and I don't know how. I don't know how to change your color on it. Did you YouTube it? That's like my solution for most things. Or chat GPT it? Nah, chat GPT is annoying, dude. It, I don't, I don't, everyone's like, it's actually AI. It's not even AI. It just fucking it does prompts. But if you feed it a script, so let's say someone's oh God, going. here we go. No, 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 no. It's not everything. <laughs> say if someone feeds it like a whole trial argument that's a little long to read. Uh-huh. And then you send that to chat GPT and then you ask some questions about that. That's how you do it. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So you cheat. What are you talking about? I don't know. No, you, like you know when you're, you're just about. curious about tort law and you're like, well, I don't know where the, the negligence... people don't know that you're in school, you got to remind them. I'm not I've already completed school, dude. I'm so smart. Yeah, you're in you're in the school of hard knocks. T 
teaching Dude, these brothers what's I'm getting my master's do. in the school of hard knocks. Really? Yeah, out in the... <laughs> yeah? Out with all the Republicans out here in the hills. Oh, yeah, dude. That's so sick. We shoot our guns into the air. Yeah, we do a rebel yell. With our yeah! bones. <laughs> that's yep. what you do. That's we that can, what you do? But yeah, you can only come out when you're like fully hard. Why? Because that's America. You got to fluff yourself. Come out with a full boner. Do you? How do you feel about the, the conspiracy theory that the Civil War was... Um, was a, was a cover to destroy the Tartarian buildings in the United States? Yeah, I don't know about that. Why not? Just because you can, like, read accounts from people from World War, like, a, the Civil War. Oh, really? And they're real? Well, I mean, there's a lot of them. Is, dude, don't you don't you love those ones where, like, oh, yeah, that's real? Well, like... Because <laughs> some people are just like, yeah, everything is fake, dude. Well, there's, like, people that have uncovered shit from, like, Mississippi and Alabama, like, that are really old, like, books that have been buried for a while. And, mm -hmm. like, they're in English still. So like I I don't even know anymore, dude. Do you what do you, what are your thoughts on the on the guys who uh, the fact that the word dinosaur didn't even exist till the 1800s until the guys started looking for dinosaurs? Do you remember that? Yeah, dude. I think all, dinosaurs so are funny? fucking bullshit, dude. Dinosaurs are fake. Dinosaurs huh? are bullshit. The the fact that it's they're like, just they like oh they're fake. lizards in the 90s and now they're they're actually chickens. They're giant chickens. Yeah. They have feathers. It's like dude, get the you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. What are they gonna turn into next? Yeah. Little actual <laughs> dragons from like Lord of the Rings or something? Yeah. No. Get out of here. Well, I just think it's funny that that like the guy who coined the term dinosaur was the first guy to find a dinosaur. And then he's like, whoa, I'm finding all of these dinosaurs. Look at this. That's and then, literally how like medicine is made. They're like, oh, the guy who made like Viagra's last name was Viagra. <laughs> no, yeah. For an example. Yeah, no, yeah. But it's like, no, it's just funny. Not not even. Not even at all, actually. That's like not even the same thing. Well, the fact that somebody like founds a drug, creates a drug, and names it after themselves, and the fact that somebody was no. named Dinosaur and me. No, that's not not even what I said. The guy's name really? wasn't Dinosaur. What are you even talking I about? I thought that's what you said. I'm sorry. No. Okay, Rain. The guy invented the idea of a dinosaur. There was no idea of a dinosaur. So he and invented then, the word? The concept, like he invented dinosaurs, and then he started finding bones. And he was like, like, "These are dinosaur bones." That's what happened. And he's like, "You know what dinosaur means?" Or he's like, "That's not a word." Yes, that's okay. what happened. So yeah. he, he made a like, dinosaur. If I was like, "Oh, oh, you never heard of a glibloglop?" And you're like, "No." And I'm like, "Oh, it's not a word." Oh, a glibloglop. Like, no, is, look at that guy. Yeah, no, this is a glibloglop right here. Like, I found glibloglops. Like glibloglop. There must have been glibloglops a long time ago. That's like what he did. That's how fucking that yeah, dinosaurs so got. Yeah, like saying that he made up the word dinosaur also. And the whole every he Everything, created yeah. the concept of a dinosaur and then started finding what dinosaurs. What a good word. I've never made up a word as good as dinosaur. Yeah, cuz you're not a fucking autistic idiot who's a fucking liar. You've told me I'm autistic no, and this then, whole podcast. And then he's like <laughs> he's like no, but listen. And then he's like there's another guy, and he's like, no, I find dinosaur bones more than you. And and then they just started digging for bones, and they were in a competition. Of a boner war? Yeah, they had a boner war, and th that's what they did. They were like, they're like, I found a hundred dinosaur bones. And the other guy's like, no, I found a hundred and two dinosaur bones. <laughs> I'll be more sure. I found dinosaur bones in my big yard. These are my dinosaurs, bam. Go birds. No, these are my dinosaurs, bam. These are not your dinosaurs. Actually, did you know all dinosaurs were birds? Go birds. No, these... <laughs> These are my dinosaurs. Yours are not real. Mine are lizards. Birds aren't dinosaurs. Yeah, fuck you. I made up the word dinosaur, motherfucker. Yes. What did you do? I discovered dinosaurs. So, yeah, no. It, it's That's all, insane. It's all, yeah, it's just fucking funny. Could we do something like that? Don't you think, wouldn't you think it was a little suspicious if I was like, hey, dude, like, it's just so suspicious. Dude, we would have fucked the world up if we were born in like the 18th. If we were born 10 years ago, we would have fucked the, the world up. If we were born up. in Tartaria, yeah. <laughs> we would have just be like, actually, this is pretty cool. You can create your own reality. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right. I'd be like, Asians are God. Someone's like, how about the, how about a, the idea of a world fair? We're like, no, 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 no. No, that's gay. How about a world circus? <laughs> Dude, you know, we, it would have been funny to go back in time with like a machine gun and then be like, just be the boss and just shoot everybody. And and just be the boss if someone said something and just be like, mm, that's gay. And Dude, everyone's like, what does that mean? Even if you have just a, a nice Glock. Like nine millimeter, yeah. like a super reliable, and you just take that back and just start like how popping. many bullets are in a clip? Ten in California. Well, let's say you have an extended clip. I mean, you can have twenty in it. Okay, let's say you have twenty bullets. You can do a flip clip too, where you have ten and ten. Okay, let's say you have twenty bullets, right? So, so that's a lot of bullets. That's a lot of bullets. 
That's like twenty. You can kill twenty people if you have a forty so imagine, cal. Imagine that's twenty. People you go dead. back into like the fourteen hundreds and you shoot someone in the face and you're like, I'm I'm God. I created a pistol. No, you don't tell them that. You're like, this is magic. Well, no, but you would be God. Yeah, I you're think, like uh, this. Is, so you could kill. Him. So what you'd have to do? Let's just, hang on. Because so I think you, the revolver exists. Hang on. So you <laughs> okay. walk. You walk out. You walk into the town square and you point at someone and you shoot them. And then you're like, I'm fucking magic, bro. And they're like, what? I think you need to go to the 1700s. Because, like... They had guns in the 1700s. Well, then... Because you talked Jesus about the 1850s. Christ. I said the 1400s, Oh, right? I thought you said 1800s. I'm like, <laughs> no, dude, you go to the 1700s. Like, dude, they have guns well, in the that's 1700s, why, you fucking well, idiot. Well, no, because I know in the... Eight, <laughs> in the eight, Like, somewhere in the 1800s, that's when they... <laughs> when did they create the revolver? <laughs> Oh my god, like the 1600s, I really? think. Yeah, dude. I thought it was like the 1800s. Nah, okay. bro. Right. Pirates, dude. Pirates had guns, man. I don't think they had revolvers. I yes, think they did, dude. No, I think uh, Americans. It might even be the 1500s. I again. really think Americans invented the revolver. When were revolver. revolvers invented? I think the Americans invented the I, revolver. I thought you meant like a handgun. I didn't need no, I didn't know specifically. A no, like a revolving handgun, yeah. So do you mean a handgun or a revolver? Th that's literally a hand. A revolver is a handgun. <laughs> no, they had they had, pi pirates had guns in like the 1600s. Dude. No, I know they had guns. They had like muskets and shit. But I'm no, talking they had about single. They had a revolving handgun where you can shoot like five. What? Or six hang bullets. on. What kind of guns <laughs> did pirates have? Dude, we have some like people from the south that are like, you guys are fucking so stupid from California. You don't even know about the history of guns. Like, yeah, yeah we people know. who people who are like California. If you if you've ever said California in your life, you can kill yourself. My mom took me to shoot. Her guns when I was like nine years old. Yeah, so. dude. This is so. This is from the 18th century. So this is the 1700s. That's a that's a one shot pistol. I'm talking about a revolver. I know. I'm just showing you the guns okay. pirates had. Okay, so I'm just that. Yeah, that's my whole thing. It was like so, a repeating shot. So gun. let's go back to my point. Well, my well, you're just gonna gloss over Rain's point. Well, what, what's hey. your point? What's your point? What's your point? That what's your point? That the repeating pistol existed in the 1800s, but I didn't know okay. you were talking about the 1400s. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. let's just go. Hey, everybody, let's go back to the 1400s. So we're going to the 1400s. So you let's say you have Hop on the say, magic school bus. Let's say you have 14 bullets or 20 bullets. You shoot one person. You have 19 bullets. Do you think that they'll make you the king? No, How does that work? I you're think, like, I'm magic. Bang. Ha ha. No. And you like, shoot two. You're going to have like. You got to shoot like three more people, huh? You gotta probably fast, come out like fast. bang, bang, yeah, bang, 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 like, bang, ba 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 Because you're gonna have a bunch so of motherfuckers. Like, because if they I had, had an army, arrows. if I had an army in the yeah. medieval times, I would have a bunch of motherfuckers okay. like you that are ready to go. So I'm gonna be <laughs> so I'll, no matter I'll what. be the king. All right, all right. What's going on over here with all of his shooting? You're the you're the shooter. I, I got a handgun. You're the shooter. Ga, 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 <laughs> no, ga. You have to sit down. You have to be the shooter. Oh. So hang on. You just shot. How many people did you shoot in the town? Shot store? four people. Four dude. people. Okay. All right. So you, so I'm I'm gonna be the guy who runs up to the king. My lord, there's a man. He has a a pointy man. Pointy, pointy, pointy. He's got a hand cannon. He got a hand. He's <laughs> got a hand. No, they don't have cannons then. Really? Not no. Damn. They have treasure bunks. All right, matey. They have a. He had a thing and he pointed it and it killed a man. He's got a mini trebuchet. I don't oh. understand it. All right, all right, yeah, all right. Shut up. I'm, I'm the king. Shut <laughs> up. Yeesh. You're a good king. Shut already. up, <laughs> sir. <laughs> hey, sir, on, there's hand cannons outside the castle. Shut walls. up. You're such a little fucking. Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mark that. <laughs> oh shit, baby! <laughs> hang on, dude. Hang on, hang on. Let's go back. We got go Patreon, back. yeah, dude. We're not we going on the Patreon. The peachy, See, peachy. Get the, okay, thirty-two. I always say it around thirty-five. <laughs> you take pictures. Of <laughs> I take pictures of when I say it. All right, all right. About, sir, sir, they have right. hand cannons that oh, kill people. Oh, at shut Twitter. up! Shut up! You shut ah. your shut your mouth. I'm trying to hang on. I talk louder, and I'm the king. Oh, why? No, shut up! <laughs> I need to figure out what's going on in my kingdom. <laughs> More bread and wine. Shut up. Are you mocking me, the king? <laughs> oh, I need to figure out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what is he pointing at, people? Dude, it would have been so rad to be a king. All right, so, okay, hang fucking on. fucking tyrant. All right, hang but on. But, like, so wait, be, be my surf. Talk. Set. 
Sir, there's people outside the window. Shut up, I'll figure out! They're killing people with one bomb. I will figure out what is happening now! It's an explosion! Oh, I can't handle the truth! It's an explosion coming out! I ain't made you! I'm the king, you stock! I'm a hand in front! You can't talk in a mic! Help! Sir, we're all dying! He kills 20 people with that. Oh, I don't care! Wine and bread! This is epic. Episode for literally me and you, dude. No one else likes this. It's like a throwback. This is a throwback to episode two. More wine and <laughs> lamb, sir. More, more wine. Get the blacks <laughs> to serve me more lamb. I need more. Give me more. More buttered lamb. <laughs> give me two. Give me four. Give me four. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh man, dude! <laughs> Fuck, dude! It would have been so rad to be a king. Just ask for blood. <laughs> I'm the king. Give me fuel and fire. Give me give fuel. Me give fire. me fire. Give me lamb chops. <laughs> give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me crumpets that is I desire. <laughs> <laughs> give me. <laughs> dude, the, like, give me my talaka. Can you still like order? What like part of society exists that you can order people around like that, like a king? I want to India. Move. Let's move to India. All they're they're just like because you can fuck all of them up. There's not one. There, I don't in think UFC. there's a single. I, so no, there weird. there is one, and he lost. He loses yeah. all the time. He loses all <laughs> he loses. Dude, it's they funny. Just slap him. I was talking to Joe today, and I texted him. I was like, I was like Nate Diaz's mood, Conor McGregor's business, Khabib's uh, humbleness, and Rampage Jackson's okay. sense of humor. But I fight like that Indian guy. That's like right. Paige Jackson's sense of humor. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. I thought you were going to say it was like his attack. No, he's so funny. He's funny, dude. I don't know. that. Yeah, what it, what, what it takes for us to do this podcast is really, it's really hard. That was like the last time I watched uh, The Ultimate Fighter was Rampage Jackson. It's so long ago. Just tearing. Dude, I'm old, baby. I'm so tearing down a door. Season 13. That was season 13? Yeah. They have, they're on 31. Dude, I remember when season... Wasn't season one Forrest Griffin? No. Just the white dude that got punched a lot? It's not season one. No. Really? <clears throat> I always thought season one was Forrest Griffin. because Oh, Forrest Griffin's on season one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought he ended up winning because he ended up being like a... Not like successful because he lost a lot. That guy no, was he like, was super successful. You're tripping, bro. Well, he lost a lot, though. He was really good at getting punched. I'm all season 13. It's just not. He was it's, like a new- it's Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm completely wrong. Just completely- Dude, I love saying things so confident and being super wrong. I believe you with shit like this because I, I hardly remember watching. I was so, yeah, I was like on Spike TV watching. The Maybe Ultimate it's like Fighter. 16. Which one is it? But put Forrest Griffin. Uh, season 10. Season 10. I was really? Close. I was close, yeah. Damn, dude, that shit's been going on for a long time. Yeah, dude. Dana I think they White. do. I think they do like two seasons a year now. Dude, Dana White's in the for the long run. Yeah, no, he's been Just, he's been doing it for a long time. Dude, he can get away with anything. Dana White, he can build. He could take tunnels for sure, dude. Dude, he's dude, a he digger. He slapped his wife on camera, and he's fine. That rocks. That's. Can you name anybody else? No, not Ray Rice. He can dig his own tunnels, dude. Not even Ray Rice in an ele- elevator where you think you have privacy. Have you ever been in an elevator and you looked around? It doesn't look like there's any cameras. There's a camera. There's cameras in the roof. Really? Yeah, in the in the roofs of of, of uh, escalator ev- elevators. Mm. What? What's? Hang on. Tanner just sent me something. Let me see what he says. <laughs> I'm just goofing on you, dude. He sounds stoned. <laughs> yeah, he's probably <laughs> super high. I love when Tanner's super stoned. Dude, Tanner. It's so funny when Tanner gets high. He when Tanner gets high, he talks like super quiet. Like this. he gets like it's super so funny, good. dude. If Dude, it, Tanner it, Tanner laughs so much when he gets. It's so funny, and if we he's get like, the "Boys, to move out here. We're gonna have a stone yeah. cast." Dude, yeah, it's yeah, it's so funny. Like, it was funny uh, when I was there. <clears throat> I uh, I ate like CBD gummies and got like a little. I didn't get high, but I was like a little like Lucy, you know, kind of like a little kratom. Yeah, it was like no, like way heavier than kratom. Oh, nice. way, way harder than kratom, and like. It, I was like, dude, they they were making me giggle. I was like, oh, this is like silly. We're silly boys right now. Being There's silly so, is nice. Being silly is fucking nice, dude. It's we're being silly on today's episode. This is a silly episode. That's a that's our podcast, baby. Everybody, we're just tr- dude. We're I've been silly. saying the n word way too much lately. I got to edit this so much. It's okay. Editing's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine for you. Like, but yeah, yeah, because you don't have to edit. You don't have to edit. You don't have to edit. Did I say it? No, you well, just. Well, then why would I have to edit? That's why. That's why I'm getting sixty percent of the Patreon. You're getting fifty. That's. That does not add up. <laughs> I know it doesn't. I should get more. You sixty forty. 
60-50. Oh, did I say 60-50? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get 60 and you get 50. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. Weird. Dude. Shut! That's me right now. That's uh, me needing help. If you want to be a part of our Patreon, that shit is... I'm going to be buying some tickets for us in a, around September. That's all going to be from the Patreon. So you just wait. Tickets? Tickets. Are you ready for the sex? Is it for sex? No. Is it a sex party? Are you re- <laughs> well, uh, Skanks Fest was announced again, and we're oh. going. We're going to be heard this time. It's going to be fun if you buy tickets and we're like, yeah, you got Artist Pass. You can perform here. You can see whoever you want. Yeah, and we're going to fuck. If that yeah. happens. Dude. We're only in week one of 2024. We have to week nine yeah. to f- like fuck shit up. Yeah, we have a lot of time. And we're going to fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just like, there's just something about, I don't know. Hey. There's just something about meeting all the comedians. You're like, this is it. You're just, you're just there you are. <laughs> yeah, but like from what I've heard, like uh, post Skanks Fest is they kind of like really. They like hang out. They stuff. really like, well, they really like being like. They feel like a celebrity. That's like the one time they feel like a celebrity. Yeah, apparently. yeah, yeah. That's cool. And like everybody but Nick Nolan likes that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be super fun. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it would be. It would be dope. It, like, dude, what if we go there? I would, and you can I challenge like, Gomez to a fight. And I'll like, fuck Luis Gomez up because he thinks you can. He can fuck you up. Obviously, he's be like, "This is good." He would never fuck me up. But just understand yeah. his hubris. And he's like a yourself, big. He's just so down? much. He weighs. 30 pounds more than me, though. Yeah, but you kick like a fucking Joe Rogan pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, I do kick like Rogan, dude. I kick hard. I probably kick, I might kick harder than Rogan because I'm bigger. If you have trained as long as him, you can definitely kick. Like, the only reason I think well, he, he kick hard is he trained. Well, he, but he does, he kicks Taekwondo. He doesn't, he doesn't kick Muay Thai. They're totally different. Well, he's got so, a nice, like, hip swing, though. Ty, I, I, we'll, we'll see. We'll have, we'd have we'll to see. Oh, ha, we'll have you ever him. seen, have you ever seen those boxes that they have at like fight gyms where you punch it and it, 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 uh, calculates how hard you hit. No, I've seen only those? seen those like bags of bowling alleys. No, they stuff. have, no, they have like, they have like actual ones and it's weird. Cause they're like really, really hard. They're like these like little boxes. I don't want to punch them. And you can hit them. It's weird. Cause they look like insanely, like they'll hurt you. And it doesn't hurt. I don't know. I've never done one, but like I'd fuck my elbow. Up, yeah, no, they look like, yeah, I don't know. Um, but the thing is, is you can game those. Like, there's there's ways you can game them. If you, because like Muay Thai, you kick with your shin, and your leg stays like sh- you, it's like a sweeping like this. It's like a tree branch. It's like this. Uh, no, but in in Taekwondo, a lot of the kicks are like hinged. You hinge like this a lot. Oh, okay, like this. Yeah. So yeah, like, like that. Um, <laughs> so it's a little different. But with the, with those things, you can slap. Like Sanchai did one. He's a famous Muay Thai fighter. Sanchai. You can you can slap. How can she slap? You can slap. Sounds like an anime <laughs> character. Sanchai. Sanchai. No, you can slap it and it will trick the thing into thinking you're hitting harder than you are. Yeah, I don't. Just I don't. what I've. Just from my. I'm the king in this casa. Can we get you to like max one of those like probably. punching machines out? Probably not max it out, but I could probably. I probably. I hit really hard. It seems like that's the ticket to go viral. Do you know how many fucking like videos of that I have? Yeah. Like that are only, I don't follow yeah. like pages, but like you know how there's like two pages combined that like share things with you. That shit. Conor McGregor did it too. Okay. <laughs> it's so fun to do. Do it. Do it to me talking. Do it to me talking. Do it. Do it to me talking. Do it to me. Do, it, do, it, to me. do this. I will not do it to you. I will not do it to you. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. If you mock somebody, it's so funny. Mocking someone as a fucking 30-year-old adult is so funny. I'm getting getting old. (laughs) You'll feel the... You'll feel the... You'll feel the gravity. You'll feel the gravity. Wait till April, April, baby. Wait till April, baby. Wait till April, baby. No, dude, I've already been feeling this. I was talking to Liam about it. Um, Because me and Liam have the same birthday. Beth comes fast, baby. And I was was, uh, was talking to him. I was like, dude... When I get sore now, it's like in my bones, dude. Like you can feel it in the joints. It's like weird. You're like, like my ankles and my ankles and like, like legs get sore a lot, and it's like deep in the muscle ligaments. Like it's sometimes. like fuck, dude. That dude, shit I have a hurts. sore ligament after working out. And I'm like, why is it sore? It's because I yeah. used it. Yeah, it's just because I used it. Yeah, dude. I well, I lift it. <laughs> I lift because like my gym, the new gym I go to, half of it is a weight room, which is super sick. Nice. I lifted for the first time. I did bench for the first time in like probably a year. You're just cracking. And I was like, oh my god, bro. I was, dude. 
So I've been doing, like, I'm back in the gym, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai. I've been so sore this last week. It's been Kratom City, dude. I, it's been Kratom City this last week. Dude, I don't doubt you. Like, one, like, 45-minute session to do kettlebells, and I'm yeah. fucked for the week. Yeah. Like, soreness-wise. Yeah. It, it feels good, though. It reminds me of football. Reminds me of football when that happens. Yeah. I I, I got to get back into it, dude. Ever since I fucking had my seizure, I haven't been working out. And yeah. I've, like, put so much shit in my garage that I can't yeah. work out there, so... Well, dude, month. the the whole the whole fucking I I really hope that like eventually, well, eventually it'll happen. But like when we live in the same like vicinity, like close, like within like 10, 20 minutes, if we could go to the same jujitsu gym or the same Muay Thai gym, that'd be so fun. Like us doing Muay Thai together would be so fun. It would be, be so fun, dude. I just there's I'd something love to learn how to punch and kick, but I just don't want to get hit. Well, there, there's I'd something with. Well, yeah, you would just cause, so there's a, it, it's just like soft sparring. You could like yeah, no, I could do that. If you like told the person, I have seizures, you can't punch <laughs> me. They won't punch you. The so. harder you punch me, the more I see. Yeah, you. I will. Yeah, you just yeah. Um, but dude, oh, I was going, I was fucking doing jujitsu with this dude, and he's a fucking white belt spaz. You know, a spaz. Yeah, just like high school. Where they're just like fucking like, eh, eh. and it's like, all right, I can get out of this. Blah. No, yeah, it's like I'm way better all than out this. Of form. I like. The thing is, is like this gym is not as good as my other gym, obviously, because the other gym I went to is literally one of the best in the world, whatever. But uh, not to brag or anything. Well, I mean, SoCal has some really good MMA gyms, though. It's not. But um, a joke. <laughs> no, but like the guy, like the new gym. There's like different decorum because it's not, you know, whatever. But like, the guy was like spazzing out and he fucking kicked me in the forehead. I had a bump on my forehead for like five days, like literally like this big, dude. Like it was like, cause his, his heel went directly into my forehead and it was like, why it's are you just cause he spazzed dude. And it was just drilling. We weren't even rolling. We were just drilling. And he's like, <laughs> I'm like, you're, I'm like, bro, just, okay. You, Oh, you got me an arm bar. Okay. I'm done. Cause like, it's better to go slow. So you refine like the technique of, no. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm like the fastest. I'm like the fastest here. Yeah. It's no, like, that goes stupid. away. And then you, you're not, yeah. People are fucking retarded, dude. Yeah. It's like super annoying. That is the difference between going to like a good gym and a bad gym. Like, and I've had the like luxury of only going to a good gym. Yeah. Kind of like My, the gym I go to now, it's not bad. It's just like, you're a lot better than the, like, yeah. The, like the, I'm the best at Muay Thai, which is like not supposed like, Remember at my old gym, I'll tell you, I was like, I'm the best of like the the mid guys, like the best of the average guys. Yeah. I'm like, you I'm, know, because we have like, one of the oh, best this amateurs. is, yeah, it's like, oh, this is like, this guy is a professional UFC fighter. It's like, obviously he's better than me, but they don't like have that there. So it's like, he, yeah, this guy's on yeah. the opening card of the next, uh, not even, Bellator. not even, not even that, like lower than that, dude. Really? This, this new gym is no, like, no, I was talking about your old one. No, like, my, you no, probably my, had dudes that were fighting in Bellator. No, we had dudes. No, we had dude. We had Benil. I know you had the lady in the UFC. No, the there was like there was like ten UFC fighters. Giga. There's oh. like top like top five one fifty fivers. Like literally like there's a Benil who fought for a fucking world championship. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, not, no, I'm not like, that like. Uh, no, like yeah, not lo- like there. There was like guys who were like in the PFL. There's guys in the LFA, but there's also like oh, this guy fought for a world title before in UFC. That's fucking cool, dude. Verdum was always there. You remember Verdum? Yeah, Verricio Verdum. Yeah, Verdum was there like all the time. He was always there training. Damn. So there was like there was like legit dudes there, but like so now I go to the gym and it's it's like there's people who compete and stuff, but it's a lot more like. It's a lot of kids who are just like new in its stuff, and so like, but it is kind of fun. It is kind of cool to go into a, a smaller gym and t- for like people to be like, "Whoa, you're really good," because it makes me feel good. That's pretty I, cool. You've heard a theory that like, you've had a past life before, and that like you chose this life. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck would you do that? Like, why would I do that? Like, why would I do this to myself? Why would so you- if that if that is true, it, you're, it's you're because you're God experiencing. This experience, you're God. You've never experienced this. Well, you, you know what it's like, but you haven't experienced it. First, ah, dude, right? Like, <clears throat> but because if that's real, like, some, you, you know to why, do that dude? To because, is, dude, because up. we're we're gonna we're gonna hit, we're gonna do like we're probably gonna get rich from this podcast. <laughs> that's why. With your help, join the Patreon. Join the everybody. Patreon. <laughs> join the Patreon to get more of this. Living in America. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you get a little of this. Yeah, you. Maybe you get a little of this. You are a failure <laughs> in here, and everything about this is a failure. With Taffer, a sprinkle of a Taffer content. is so funny. But if you if you guys want to get deep with us, oh dude, that's what I was that's Patreon. what I, that's what I was gonna I was gonna do. 
Remember I was telling you, remember we were going to bring this onto the show that we were uh, over the Patreon last week, we were talking about how I have a framed picture of Cumtown in my room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do you want me to go get it? Yes. Here, can you keep the anyone, everyone entertained for oh, 30 seconds? Dude, I, dude, okay. You can call me Cedric the Entertainer. I am all right. just homemade comedy, everybody. Hey, this is like the first time everybody's only got to hear me. This is like, oh, this is not the couch philosopher. This is the lounge listener. Everybody... Rain listens to everybody. I don't I don't talk to people. I want to hear from you guys. So all our fans out there. That, oh, my God. I feel retarded. All our fans out there. Come subscribe. Comment on the, the, the video, the YouTube video, and tell us how cool or not cool we are. Because, man, it's getting it's getting into the, the witching hour of my life where I, I don't know entirely what I'm doing, but I feel like I do. But there's that, that like probably 30%. 30% of me is very, very doubting of what I'm doing right now with literally everything from, should I spend all this money on my car that hasn't ran in years? Should I, should I even spend money on this podcast? Okay. What There's way too much stuff in the box. <laughs> There's way too much stuff in the it? box. I couldn't find it, oh. but I do have a frame picture in come town that I keep in my bedroom. The fact that you left and I tried my, did you do it? Was it hard? Just, it, I was getting going. You're getting going. So yeah. I was uh, introducing everybody into the lounge listener. The lounge listener. I'm a listener. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm the couch philosopher. You have the, the lounge philosopher. Listener. Like speaks to people. I want to listen. You the listen. only problem okay. with doing that is I'm talking. You're gay. I'm the only <laughs> one talking, so I can't listen to anybody. <laughs> I know that's the whole point. Well, no. So yeah, we were, we were, we were <laughs> you were I'm making insane. fun of me that I I don't have a picture of any of my family members in my room, but I have pictures of um. I'll, I'm gonna admit it. The Mandalorian. And what? I have a picture you of a Mandalorian. Disney cuck? This is back. Okay, these are from these are from when I used to live with my ex girlfriend. Oh, I remember her. Yeah, remember when she had we love we love Disney when she had <laughs> sex with her sister. We have sex. Yeah, dude, I've been recommended their TikTok before, like multiple times. I rule. Fucking dude. weird, dude. That was so cool. Uh, and they don't have that many followers. <laughs> that's so. Which cool. is hilarious because so you cool. can tell they're trying. That's so cool. Um. Jesus. But anyways, so... So Mandalorian, how much... Uh, baby Grogu. Up. Oh, tell me about Baby shut Grogu. Up, I love little Baby Yoda. No. I mean Grogu. Shut up, dude. No, I <laughs> fucking don't like that show anymore, but... I don't like that show anymore, because that show used to be cool, but now it's not cool anymore, but... Um, I have... Pic yeah, I have... Uh, I have pictures of Cumtown in my... <laughs> like, in what my type... Room. Do you have, like, Stav in his belly, or, like... Yeah, it's like Stav... It's uh, Adam, Nick, and Stav, and they're in front of, like, a... Uh, they're on the red carpet, and, uh, like... When they were happy... Yeah, when they're happy before, dude, it was so funny. There's a clip. There's a clip of Stavros. This is just inside baseball. <laughs> um, what? Nothing. What? Inside Cumtown is just funny. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> it's so gay. No, it's because I'm making yeah, fun of Burt Kreischer when he was like, "Yo, this is inside baseball." <laughs> Who's this inside baseball? If you're a real Cumtown fan, no, check so, this out. No, but no, it was like a clip of of Stav and he's on his new podcast, and some girl was like. It was just fucking gay, dude. And, and I commented on it. And I was like, "Yeah, good thing you." I was like, "This, yeah, good thing that you, good thing that you gave up the fucking one thing we all wanted, which was come down in order for you to do this fucking bullshit." Yeah, the one great that. thing you fucked it up. Yeah, dude, that's the. I think the problem with me is like the that like age of comedian or whatever. All their podcasts are just literally the same. They're like, "Oh, I'm gonna interview this this comedian because he's on tour." Basically, yeah, that's all. That's all they do. Most of the podcasts are turning. Yeah, that's, into a, that's all they do. Weird as. Copycat interview. We're the only two real ass motherfuckers. Uh, 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 hey. Dude, ah, dude, we don't we don't we even ain't. know what we're doing uh, here, man. Uh, click it. We gotta we gotta edit. That's probably why like people like Theo Vaughn, he's like, I don't even know how to podcast, even though I've been doing this for six hundred episodes, everybody. Why well, I don't know how to do Damn, anything. Damn, isn't know, that crazy? I don't know how to do anything. Nashville that's, rules. That's my whole bit, is that I'm a stupid redneck. You ever had a a, a guy you grew up with he'd just he'd just catch birds out of the sky with his teeth? Yeah, that, that's, that's some funny. Theo shit. He's like, that's pretty funny, huh? I'm pretty sure half the shit he said. Oh, that's that. what I was gonna do. What you're just I on do, your phone? Now. I want to do conspiracy iceberg with you. Oh, I actually have one I want to get into. Probably on a. Yeah, it probably has to be on Patreon. Have you heard of like the Benadryl iceberg? No. What's that, dude? There's people that like they robo trip on Benadryl and they see bro, that stuff. Yeah. But it goes deep. Really? And, like I feel like YouTube would probably flag us if I probably. talked too much about abusing Benadryl. I don't know. They, I said the N word t twice on this podcast. Yeah, but you're going to like bleep it, Maybe. right? Maybe. I mean, you, <laughs> hey, do you want fame or not? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, I know. okay, we're going to have to 
edit the first like two minutes and just give like a shout out to Disney, Netflix. Um, oh yeah, you want to do a, you want to do a uh, you want to do an algo hack real quick? Yeah, dude, just shout out CAA. Hey guys, CAA also. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Hey everybody, go to see, check out CAA. Also, go check out the Disney Channel. Also, go check out the ALDC. Yeah, NAACP. What? A a wait, anti-Jewish a <laughs> what? Anti-Jewish Defamation League. AJDL. Did I get that right? No, the anti-Semitic anti Jewish AJD. Yeah, yeah no, I got that right. It AJDL. ADLC. Yes, I do. ADC, I don't so, know. So, all right, I got, I got it. Your new nickname is AJ, and you can call me DL. The, and together, we're the anti-Jewish we're, we're, defamation. And together, league. we're the Kim Possible. All right, so, so should we do? Should we do? Do you want to do another episode tonight? We'll do one more extra one. We got to give it to our Patreon, dude. I'm fucking feeling it. Yeah, we do got to give the we do got to give the patrons a, a little shout. You know what I mean? Dude, those are those are our boys. Like yeah. they, we we always have to save the juice for them and the words. You yeah. know what I mean. We got a lot of stuff. Got a lot I, thought, I, th- of I think stuff. saying it, calling people diggers is pretty funny. But what I mean, they are. Sh- I mean, what are they doing? They're digging under their the, the synagogue or this whatever. Is me, it's called. bro. Brendan Schaub, dude, he's so funny. Why does he look like he's about to? Oh, here. Do you want me to post? Should I post on Reddit right now and, and make everybody mad? Why not? That's funny. Shouldn't you always post on Reddit and make everyone? Here, here, I'm going to post. What should I po- We have Who's, a frog oh. on here who you're trying to fight. I don't even know if you can see the frog, but you're trying to fight the what therapy version about? of this fucking guy. Oh, Larry, Larry, the therapy guy. Go. Wait, Rain, who's a, who's a, who's a player that w- it would make everybody mad if the Rams got him? Um, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill? No, more controversial. No, Patrick not, Mahomes. No, Rain. God, like a player that we could realistically get. Like, who's like going to be a free agent next year? Like someone like Derrick Henry. Like where it's like sh- we shouldn't draft him. Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley. He'll be okay. free agent. Uh, Rams are going to get Saquon Barkley next season. Mark I'm this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spell Barkley wrong too. <laughs> I'm gonna say Daquan. <laughs> You're gonna get Daquan Barkley next year. Jaquan, <laughs> Jaquan Barkley, going to the Rams. You heard it here first, everybody. We're gonna get Daquan Barkley next year. The funny thing is, the Rams. You heard it here first. Like that's the position the Rams won't get because they're fine with. Uh, yeah, their running back is like one, like, of, the, one yeah. of the best. The um, you know, it was interesting. Someone made a thread today, and it was like talking about how the Rams have 100 percent had the greatest running backs of all time out of any team, and they like listed that is everybody. Pretty wild. Jer- like it's like Jerome Bettis, Marshall Falk. Well, hey, Jerome um, Bettis, kinda. Jerome Bettis. Anyways, what I was saying, Jerome yeah, Bettis, Marshall Eric Falk. Dickerson, Marshall Falk, sh- uh, Sean. Or I'm sorry, Stephen Jackson, Sean Alexander. That's on the Seahawks. Never C- mind. Seahawks. Um, Todd Gurley. Now he, we have uh, what's his name? Who was the dude in the 2000s? I I think you might have already said his name. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, not Deshaun Jackson. Um, Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jack. Dude, you already said his name, right? Mm-hmm. That guy. He was. God damn. He was such a <laughs> cool runner to watch. He was like, he ran so upright. Yeah, he was, really he was fucking huge. Yeah, so Rams are going to get Daquan Barkley next year. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, here. Black Power. Uh, hashtag that's, Black Panther. That's so funny. People are going to get so fucking pissed. Especially because, like, the top post right now is how, uh, is how like, how good our fucking uh, Kyrene Williams is. Yeah. They'll be like, why do we even know, dude? We don't dude. need him. We it's do not so need funny. that. We do not need that calorie. We do not need that salary hit to our cap. I don't understand. Okay, can you explain <laughs> to me? Don't. Can you can you explain to me how the salary cap no, works? I genuinely no don't, one no one really can. I genuinely don't know what it means. I don't because you can go over it, and right? You can defer it to like year. I dude, I literally not even like the biggest football fans like Are fully able to understand do, it. Really? Okay, it's fucking retarded. How like because like th- there's a limit to how much you can spend. And, not, but not in a year. It's like how much you could spend. I don't, dude, I don't even fucking know. So, but okay. So like how come in baseball, there's no salary cap. There is no salary cap. They don't care. So just whichever team is worth more money, they can just pay them. So that's how the Dodgers are. That's good. how the Dodgers They're got, basically go the new age Yankees. They're just like, oh, we, here you go. 750 million to that fucking Chinese dude. Hey, don't say that, dude. Or the. A Japanese guy, not you know, Chinese. You Sorry. know what he is? You know what he is, bro? He's a Robert Dubai. You know exactly what he is.
Do you know that in the beginning yeah. of that song it goes isn't that crazy? That song reminds me of the first Jackass movie when they're running around Tokyo in panda outfits and they're playing that song the whole time. It's pretty funny. Jackass was pretty good. Yeah, it was. It was. Dude, what if you put a dildo in my ass? Dude, like, right. really shove it in there where it, when it dude, hurts. Dude, I, I, I gotta hurt. I gotta be honest though, dude. We were not we were not fair to Bam Margera. We were wrong about Bam. We really were. Like uh, like Bam has been right. They're pre- he's being proven right. Like, yeah, but he's also still fucking really gay, dude. He's like yeah, getting. That's true. Sh- he posts him getting stretched out by his girlfriend. That is stupid. That is really weird that he does that. He and there's just been a couple himself. times where people have pointed out where like he has like weed shit like in front of him on a desk, and he uh-huh. looks very very high. Right. Which is fine, dude. But like, just don't be say you're sober. Don't yeah, say like you're sober. if you were if you were sitting next to me and you're stoned, you're like, super high, yeah, and you're yeah. like, dude, all I know is sobriety. I'll be like, dude, fuck you right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. So like the fact yeah. that like he might be doing that just starts to turn me against him. Yeah, I understand. That makes sense, dude. And those Philly guys are really good at making you like them and then making you hate them. Yeah, and then making you like them. Fucking war mode. You want to go? No, you want to go? It's cool. You want to go? War mode. We're, we're cool with war mode. Okay, we're cool with war mode. Right, we're cool. Never mind. And we're we're cool with Matt and Shane too. I love Matt and Shane, and I love I just, war mode. Those are my two favorite podcasts. Yeah, I just, like when like, the, the new episode pops up. I actually like. Oh, Duncan ooh, Trussell's ooh. the other one. Yeah, Duncan. I can I can handle Duncan. But like, like we've said before, like sometimes he has like too many gurus on. I'm like, all right, and he, I can't deal he with. He had like, on um. He had on like this guy. It was like destroying your inner critic and i was like i can't listen to this it's right like now. yeah i've done enough mushrooms before to do that and it lasts for like three months calm down yeah uh, yeah yeah fucking there's oh i timed it perfect exactly an hour there Wait, we go an hour yep shut up dude. i feel like no that <laughs> night All right, baby, we're done. I feel like I've been talking at you most this podcast. All right, baby, we're done. It's fucking you. weird. It's Anytime weird. you bring up something that's super wrong, weird. I never do that shit to you. I'm like, oh, dude, I've been doing this for this long. I don't fucking. Uh. We literally, never literally three episodes ago, we had a massive fight, and that's all you did was was uh fucking grandstand about how you played bass for 13 years. Because that's I get true. zero credit for anything I've done because.